In this video, we'll compare using electronic drums with a drum module versus an audio interface. I initially purchased my electronic drum kit during the pandemic so I wouldn't be bored out of my mind and to add another instrument to my studio. I always wanted to have a drum kit and to learn how to play the drums. Another reason for the drum purchase was the fact that I was growing more and more frustrated trying to make drum beats in Logic Pro. An additional reason is that my studio is close to other tenants, so I need to keep the noise down as much as possible. Well, after buying the kit and using it, I immediately knew that I wanted to get better drum kit sounds and more flexibility designing my drum kits. I started researching and experimenting and came up with the current setup that I use today, using electronic drums with an audio interface and a digital audio workstation. This is the drum kit I'll be using in this tutorial, the Alesis Nitro Mesh Kit. Now, we'll take a look at the drum module. Here's a high level view of the drum module and a link to the Alesis Nitro Mesh Kit's user manual for download. It is followed by several pages of the user manual to give you a flavor of what the drum module can do. I will also add a link to the Alesis Nitro Mesh Kit's user manual in the description of the video below. Let's take a closer look at the audio interface. Some features of the audio interface which allow you to take your drum kit sound to the next level include the ability to connect to the audio interface with a USB or MIDI cable, depending upon the brand. It also allows you to connect to the device hosting a digital audio workstation. You are able to utilize multiple options to output your sound. And finally, it gives you the ability to record and jam with other musicians. Now, we'll explore the Digital Audio Workstation, or DAW. We'll be using an iMac with GarageBand for our digital audio workstation, but there are many free ones out there depending upon which operating system you're using. Some advantages of GarageBand include, it comes free with Macs and is similar to other digital workstations out there. It has a ton of great drum kits to choose from. It provides multiple levels of control to fine tune your drum kit sound. You are able to jam and record with other musicians. It has plugins that can super boost your sound and it basically allows you to take your drum kit sound to the next level. For consistency's sake, I'll be outputting sound through two thump monitor speakers. Now, we'll check out the setup that I am using. I am connecting the audio interface to the device that is hosting the digital audio workstation via a USB cable like this. I am connecting the electronic drum module to the device like this. When I connect my electronic drum module to my audio interface, 
I use a MIDI cable, like this. I can output sound to the thumper speakers for the drum module and the audio interface using the output jacks and quarter inch cables, like this. Now, let's hear what they sound like. In conclusion, I would definitely go with using your electronic drums with an audio interface and a digital audio workstation. The benefits include more ways to output sound, more ways to fine tune your electronic drum kit, the ability to jam and co record with other musicians, and because it's the best darn way to supercharge your electronic drum kit. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below.